وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٍ Those who don't call anyone other than Allah as a God. And then he said there's a couple other things. وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسِ أَلَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ They don't kill anyone. وَلَا يَزْنُونَ And they don't commit zina. Big, big sins, right? Why did he mention that? I believe he mentioned that because for some people in the world, these things are difficult. There are some people whose whole family is mushrik. They're the only one on tawheed. And for them to only worship Allah is very hard, but they still do it. They still do it. They're special to Allah. There are cities and states and countries where wars are going on. People are killing each other. And it's very easy to join in and just kill somebody. And they say, no, I will not kill an innocent person. I won't do it. Even though it's really hard. It's really hard for them to stop. Everybody else is doing it. That's special to Allah. He says, وَلَا يَزْنُونَ And they don't commit zina. They don't have boyfriends and girlfriends. Why did he mention that? Because for some people, it's always there. He's a good-looking young guy. He walks around in the mall and the girl looks at him and goes, hee hee. <laughs> and he's like, oh, this is easy. You know, nobody's watching. And he stops himself. And he's being tested by Allah. He's being tested. They don't do it. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَى أَثَامًا Whoever did that, earned, he's come to contact with a great sin. How can a Muslim do this? How can a Muslim do shit? How can a Muslim kill someone? How can a Muslim commit zina? يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ The punishment will be doubled for those people. Shirk, murder, and zina. Anybody else does it, they will get punished. A Muslim does it, I'll punish him double. He knew it and he still did it. On Judgment Day, on Resurrection Day, the punishment is doubled for him. وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانًا And he will remain in that punishment humiliated. He will constantly be humiliated. Because shirk and killing a person and zina are humiliating crimes. They take away the dignity of a human being. إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا But the exception is even if you did these things, these three things or all of these things, if you turn back to Allah and you became a believer again, and this time wa amila amalan salihan, and he was very serious about doing good things from now on, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتٍ Then those people, Allah will take all of their sins and convert them into good deeds. Maybe your sins are the size of a mountain. Allah will not get rid of the mountain. Allah will turn the mountain into a mountain of good deeds if you can make tawbah. This is Ar-Rahman.